Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Cooper. Today we're going to talk about comparative and superlative adjectives and adverbs. I know that's lots of big words, but I'm going to try to make it very simple. So I have a couple anchor charts we're going to look at. The first one is on comparative adjectives. And if you look at the word comparative, if you cover up the last part of it, you'll see the word compare. Um, if we had an E after the R, it would be compare. So it's simply that. It's comparing to people, places, or things. And so it says you can use some adjectives to compare people, places, or things. Comparative adjectives compare to people, places, or things. They end in ER. He is shorter than his sister. He is faster than his brother. Superlative adjectives compare more than two people, places, or things, and they end in EST. So he is the oldest person in our class, or she is the fastest student at Valley Grove. So it's comparing her with all the students at Valley Grove. So superlative, super, at the beginning, means comparing more than two things. Comparative, or compare, is just two people or things. Then when we talk about comparative adverbs, it says you can use adverbs to compare actions. Again, comparative adverbs compare two actions that are done. Superlative adverbs compare how more than two actions are done. And that'll make sense in just a minute here. So for adverbs that have one syllable, like the word fast is one syllable word, you're going to add ER to make the comparative adverb and add EST to make the superlative adverb. So they have the example on the anchor chart, soon, and then sooner and soonest. And I put the example of the dogs running. We have fast, faster, and fastest. And then one other thing to talk about is a comparative adverbs for when adverbs that have more than one syllable. So handsome has two syllables. And so we add more to make the comparative. So if you're comparing just to one person, so the, if we look at the two dogs, the German Shepherd is handsome. Between the German Shepherd and the Rottweiler, he is more handsome than the German Shepherd. And then if we added the third one, which is my pal Lincoln, we would say he is the most handsome out of the three dogs on the page. So let's do a little bit of practice. It says choose the correct adverb. The branches hang blank than usual when they're covered in snow. So what do we think? The branches hang low than usual when they're covered in snow? Lower or lowest? And I always like to put the word that I think it is in the sentence and read it and make sure it makes sense. Because you can see when I read the branches hang low than usual when they're covered with snow, that does not really make sense. What if we said the branches hang lower than usual? Right, so the answer is B. All right, let's go to the next one. Mary runs the blank of all the runners on the team. So we're comparing Mary to all the runners. So if you remember, if we're comparing more than one thing, it's going to be superlative. So it's going to have EST. So let's see if that makes sense. Mary runs the fastest of all the runners on the team. It wouldn't make sense if we said Mary runs the faster of all the runners on the team. So make sure you check your work. The next one, the ants seem to work the blank of all the insects. So the ants, we're comparing them to all the insects. So we need to think back to our chart we talked about. Most is when we're talking about all insects. So the ants seemed to work the most busily of all the insects. So oh, the answer is C. Charlie is blank than his older brother, Linus. So we're comparing two things, Charlie and his brother, Linus. So when we are only comparing two things, we add ER. So 
Let's make sure that makes sense. Charlie is taller than his brother Linus. It would not make sense for us to say Charlie is tallest than his brother Linus. Okay, the crook is the blank person in the story. The crook is the, and it's kind of comparing him to everybody in the story. I'm gonna give you a second to think about that one. Put those words in, plug the words in. The crook is the mean person in the story. He is the meaner person in the story. He is the meanest person in the story. I hope you figured out that it was C. All right, and we just have one more example. The girl's necklace was blank to her than her bracelet. So it's comparing her necklace to her bracelet. The girl's necklace was dear to her than her bracelet, dearer to her than her bracelet, or dearest to her than her bracelet. Hopefully you remember that if we're comparing two things, it's just ER, so the answer is B. You're gonna get to do some practice next, and you're gonna get some cards just like the ones that were on the slides that you'll get to practice and do the answers for. Remember to plug the word in the sentence and practice it. And if you need help, reach out to me um, through email or jump on a Zoom. See you later.